all mortgages bought up, madam. For close wherever possible. Close wherever possible. For close wherever possible. Heavens, you're here at last. I called you ages ago. My place is flooded out. Well, hurry up, then. It's just round the corner. Nothing to do with us, mate. We're the fire service. Yeah, we pump it on, not out. Now, you look here. If my place is flooded out, it's your job to pump it out. I'm a rate pair and I know my rights. What's the matter, Willie? Well, I'm not one to cause trouble, and I'm not easily upset. But I can't stand the monotony another minute. I'm giving notice. Deserting? Do you mind? I want to go back to the cookhouse. Well, goodness knows, there's a little enough variety there. Do you want anything else, Dave, like giveaway book matches? Are you kidding? Like this club, we ain't giving nothing Well, away. she's not coming in here, and that's definite. Put her over in the corner. Honestly, by the time you've finished, you'll have this place looking like a flipping brothel. Listen, Van Gogh, it's either her or you, so please yourself. What shall I do with her, then? Oh, don't ask me. I wouldn't know what to do with her. <laughs> Hardly any of us here are traditional believers. I said one or two in the lower grave. Yes, I agree, sir, but I couldn't very well tell him that. But I do think he might bless the odd rocket occasionally. I mean, the, the press chaps like that sort of picture. Hmm, do you think we might move uh, just a little bit closer, sir? Yes, I do. I mean, we'd sort of get the feel of the way the whole thing's sort of messing itself. And yes, it's... yes. Well, if Morton were allowed by school regulation, I'd have a large naked woman sitting here for you to draw <laughs> instead of the chapel. <laughs> Perhaps I would stop you sniggering like a lot of dairy sales from every time you see a bit of leg. Hey, Nick, um, how do you get on with that bird I saw you with in Finchers? Watch it, Fred. He's a bit touchy on that subject. Oh, shut up. When he finally got round to chatting her up, she says she's not feeling it. Not feeling it? Well, is it anything serious? That depends upon your point of view, Fred. No, medically, she's A1. She can get up whenever she wants to. Well, what's wrong with her, then? Well, there's nothing wrong with her, Fred. No, she's a very healthy girl. She's very attractive, too. Ooh. And attractive. It's, it's quite true that Compton and I haven't been getting on very well lately. Really, sir? It, um... Well, I'm sorry, Shirley, but it'll have to come out sooner or later. It was because Compton was always making up to Shirley. Um, that is, Miss Boston. Eric! I saw your father in the old empire in 1909. Ah, if you're as good as him, son, you're all right. Well done, Ivor. It'll show it's a great special. shot, Ivor. You know, that bit when you slammed him in the face, it was bloody funny. He <laughs> nearly cried, you know. I don't know what the good finds these strange creatures. <laughs> oh, hello, Sergeant. I've been looking for you. Ah, uh, company orders. Do you know, I've just been on my rounds. Most extraordinary thing. The men are watching a training film in their own spare time. Yes, I must say, it speaks volumes for the spirit that you've given them, Sergeant. Well, it was a near thing for poor old Rodney Rhino. Well, at least that's one rhino that won't finish up as a stimulant for some jaded oriental businessman. <laughs> the black flags in Hong Kong tonight. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot, sir. All right, Colonel, see them back to the camp. I've got a message from the High Commissioner, sir. Oh, th that is the new minister for the interior. Marched in. Fly? Who? Uh, this is uh, Fly, sir. Oh, well, hello, Buttons. <laughs> and what can we do for you, old Fly? I thought I should report, sir. One of your boys has just left for Nice, sir. And who might that be? L, sir. What? <laughs> but it's fantastic. This last line here, the leading character says, It's a far, far better thing I do than I have ever done. Is it based on Tale of Two Cities? It's based on everything, Rob. East Linda, hello, Dolly. Oh, no, no, it's criminal, Cathy. It's absolutely appalling. Macaulay obviously thinks otherwise. May I say, welcome back, Sir James. Ah, oh, thank you, um... Hadley, sir. Of course, Hadley. Now, you were, uh, my father's son, sir. That's right. And where is your dear father now? The same place, sir. Well, that's encouraging. You'd better bring me up to date. Who's on what assignment? But it's not a very happy picture, sir. I say, my dear old fellow, have you got a room to let? I'm really rather wary. Stranger, ain't you? Yes, I... <laughs> How do you know that? Is it my manner of speech? No. Oh, my clears. <laughs> no, it's the way you drank that furniture polish. During those 
incredible years after World War I, when ruthless warlords ruled the people of China. Do you know, my grandchildren never seem to weary of hearing that most thrilling tale.